Hello YouTube, welcome one and all, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We have... Uh, oh, you're getting, yeah, re refitted. Yes, you're getting refitted. Uh, World War 2 has kicked off. We can modify the... We can modify that flexible organisation. You know what? Give me that. I don't know if that's perfect, but what the hell. Anyway! Uh, no, can't add any of those. Can't add any of those. Anywho. Prove medium chassis. Ah, there's my T-34! There's my T-34. Uh, we want diesel. We got the go there's our t34 don't know why you're showing a model as a tank destroyer but yeah that's a two-man turret Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Do we have a T-34 model here? Yes, we technically do. There we go. Uh, we're going to cut down on you. There we go. No template, is it my Katushkas? Yeah. The Katushkas aren't in, I uh, think, but that's fine. We want to stockpile before we can do. Uh, the plan is basically still to buy time. China's getting its pretty much its butt kicked right now. Is not good for us, but anyway, how is the war going on? Current wars the German British war, which is very much 50% in favor of the Germans, uh, due to all of these capitulations. Britain has lost 400,000 men compared to only the 200,000 that the Germans have. We are in November 1940. June 1941 is the one we have to be careful of. And we have to keep... Why was that there? Yeah, we're still making our improved light tanks. Improved medium tanks. Uh... Crew deploy. What are you missing? Heavy tanks. Uh, 
There we go. Lovely. Because we've got the thing in that already, it's fine. How are we doing construction-wise? We are making military factories. Good. Then it's a whole bunch of infrastructure on the rest and on our western front. You guys still don't have the supplies that really you would need. You guys are still doing naval exercises, which is fine because we got plenty of fuel for you to use. Um, not the resist. Uh, yeah, resistance is pretty big. There we go. Resources: seventeen oil there, seventeen oil there, fifteen, one hundred and eighteen from Azerbaijan. That's the one we really want to keep a hold of. Although there is oil up here and here as well, which is really good. Right, okay. What are we doing here? Move the industry to the Urials. Yes, we are preemptively getting that sorted out right now. Pinsk is going to be an important uh, railway hub. Speaking of, when's our next railway gun? When's our next really big? January night, 10th of January. Sweet. Anywhere that hasn't got supply. Not really. Also, an operative can be recruited. Resistance or occupation. Uh... I mean, you're Hungarian. I think that is what we're going to do. We can modify the government. Limited exports. Uh, that would decrease our factory output, though. And research speed and construction speed. No. Theorist! Uh, no. Oh, I haven't paused it. Uh, close air support may be good. You won't get me the concealment, please and thank you. New research slot. We are December 1940. We have an out of date. Yeah, told I need to get those up and running. We're upgrading. We only need to upgrade uh, 124 of those, which is, say, 42 a week. About three weeks. Three weeks we'll have that sorted, which is great. This is what's going to take a while. <laughs> it's fine. Italian-Bulgarian Military Technology Exchange. After reaching out to the German government, Bulgaria now seeks to strengthen relations with Italy. Boris III and Benito Mussolini have signed a research agreement developed by the experts by experts from both countries to facilitate the development of modern military equipment for their armed forces. Along with this agreement, the Bulgarian government has implemented new economic regulations to pr promote the investment of Italian capital in the country. Yeah, dealing with the devil. It's fine. We have we have things in place. They're not supplied, but we have things in place. Six months. 
And then the Germans, yeah, I can see you starting to mass. Do I preemptively get you guys? I think I do. So... Infantry equipment is done. You have a light tank, yeah, you have mechanized infantry. Uh, we're going to change our color because it's too close to... There we go. Research slot, 1941. Yes, we get that. And you are going to just basically do that offensive line. Ah, yeah, we, we're face. We have we're throwing our tanks against the Hun Hungarians. Is it the Hungarians? Yes. Yeah, resistance to occupation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move industry to the Urials. Lovely. Where is that? There we go. Uh, Molotov line, improve the Stalin line, Far East fortification, protect the White Sea Baltic Channel. Oh, that would give me an improved T-34. Yes. Get me an improved T-34, please. Legionary Romania has joined the Axis. King Cowell II abdicates. Pressured by powerful ele elements in his government, King Cowell II of Romania saw no choice but to announce and sign his abdication. His successor is King Michael, but many of the dictatorial powers obtained by Cowell have been vested back into the government, and so it is unlikely the young king will be able to wield similar power as his predecessor. Following his abdication, Carol appears to have emptied his expansive bank accounts and fled into exile, taking up residence in one of Mexico City's more expensive neighborhoods with its mistress, Magda Lupescu. <laughs> Amusing. Ah, oh, yeah, this Slovakia where we, uh... Ah, oh, yes! Excavation. Two done gives me more uh, she get me that because I'll be a hundred days means we'll build faster three point one million men I think we have Plenty in the bank. Yeah, you only have 600,000 to a million. What is your... Do we know what your... Yeah, you're already on extensive conscription, so... Like, the thing we have going for us as the uh, Soviet Union is the amount of people and the amount of space that we can buy time. We can actually buy time. What are you doing here, Germany? <laughs> what are you doing here? How are the Romanians? The Romanians are pretty beefed up as well. Uh, 
that in? Yeah, I have that in MPs to you. Uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted. You got anti tank. You got support artillery. Yep, you got those. That's what the main things I want. No, that's the wrong button, you silly numpty. You are. Yeah, add a field hospital to you. And we'll add a field hospital. Wrong button! We'll add a field unit to you. Um, can't edit anything else at the moment. How are we doing? Uh, still it's some units that aren't fully equipped, which is going to be a problem at the beginning. But now, improving artillery, we're now just reinforcing. See, I may change. I may change. Let's see. Uh, like my heavies? I give them support artillery. No, I don't want actually to give them support artillery. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we place the heavy. T oh, is it just a motorized infantry that can have them? Right, okay. Oh! The German Reich has declared war on Yugoslavia. Now, if what's happened in real life happens, the Yugoslavian army is going to try to defend their entire border instead of falling back into something that they can defend. Which means they're going to collapse pretty quickly. Much to the um, disillusionment, disillusionment to the Greeks who have their entire army pretty much here. And so the Germans are just going to come through here. I have no intel on this combat. That's perfectly fine. Oh god. Yep. Uh, we can do this again. Uh, you know what? Give me artillery research speed. That'll be great. Yeah, we're, we're researching the Stromerwerk. Construction. Military plus two. We have 4.1 million men available. Sweet. Average strength supply status is 99%. Oh my word, we have what it use. You can join these guys. So the German army is like on the down here because it's a bit busy and then Yugoslavia is going to collapse and the German army is going to go right through Athens and then launch an assault on here. Uh, it looks like the British are going to lose control of Sardinia and to oh, the battle, first battle of Trabuk is on the way. Oh, it looks like the Italians are losing their... Uh, Turkey delivered investment portfolio. Representatives from Turkey have visited our country and met with many of our politicians in the hope of garnering endorsements for their investment scheme. The governor of Turkey would like us to use our resources to better their own industrial capabilities output. Turkish officials have inferred that by assisting their nation we might be able to expect aid of our own in the future in the form of a military alliance between our nations. Well, of course, if it is aid they need, then it is aid they shall have. So, what does that do with us? 
It's a five-year plan. Depends industry, the Politburo, the Red Army, Soviet Air Force, Molotov River Patrol Pact, and Pass, Home of the Revolution. Did we lose? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Hello. Uh. Go. We'll get to you in a second. Uh, we will create a new army with a new general. You're a panzer leader. You're an infantry. And we are going to keep you there for now. Anyway, non aggression pact with Japan. Despite tensions with between Japanese and Soviet Union increasing until recently. Japanese have now opened negotiations for a non-aggression pact. The advantages to us are clear, but what should concern us is the advantages it will give the Japanese and whether we will live to regret that, this move. We must have peace for now. There we go. Uh, Molotov line. Sweet. Divisions are getting rolled out. Great. That's fantastic. Uh, ooh, we're missing just one KV-1. For our first, Yugoslavia has capitulated. The Yugoslavian government has gone into exile and, is it, and their main forces have capitulated to Italy, who is now in control of their home area. The struggle between Italy and Yugoslavia was only a small part of the conflict. The war between the Axis and what remains of the Allies continues elsewhere. Great. Okay, so we're making our medium ta tanks. Good. Oh, that's nice. We're having more T-34s than we're... Good, 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 good. So, which one is this? 14.4. That's right. So, you know what? We're going to make... So, that's 18.97. You're 14.4. So, you don't cost as many to actually build... How much better are you? Breakthrough, 28.7. 22.5. Alright, so you got more breakthrough. I don't mind having multiple T-34s. Multiple variations. I mean, that's what happened in real life. If we want to get more T-34s, why not? Uh... Our first medium tank template. What are you made out of? You are made out of 24 light tanks. BT7s. 89 AT20s. And 161 T34s. Wonderful. Keep making them. Yeah, a lot more AT. Thanks for that one. So, hello, you. Join that. Well, hello! Who hasn't got a. You don't need that. Uh... Timoshenko, yeah, you can have a. You can have a railway gun. Timyashenko can have a railway gun. So, when is our next railway gun? Not 6th of August. Okay. 
That's perfectly fine. We're in March. We're nearly, we're nearly there. The Germans should be getting ready anytime soon. How's Greece doing? Uh, not good now. Not good at all. Uh, it's going to and forth of the battle for Sardinia. The Italians have been beaten up to a book, and the British have gotten all the way to Benghazi. That seems to have settled down. Then again, maybe not. Yeah, so we're now at the point where we can start deploying troops. Which is good. Which is very good. There we go. How are you doing? You are refitting. How fun? Uh, you are 29%. You are not going to be ready for the war. But that'll be fine. That will be fine. Oh, insufficient resources. Rubber. For my fighters. Oh, our trade deal with... Yeah. Oh, the Sturmbevik is done. Good. Uh, we want to instantly go into lag freeze. And we want to instantly swap our close air support to our Sturmbeviks. Sweet. That's Navy experience. That's fine. Naval bombers we don't really have. We're not producing any. Uh, you still need to make use. Still making you. We may need to improve our production of these. We'll see. Anyway, we're in April. We're nearing the time of uh, Operation Barbarossa. Construction's done. Good. We get to build faster. We need to do that. Uh, military police is done. Even better. Get me that. And... Um... You know what? That's a lot of... I may want to do that. However though, do I want to make better ships? Or better artillery. Actually, better any aircraft guns would be good, wouldn't they? Actually, get me that. We're going to need it to take on the panzers. Although I don't see any... Oh, no, there they are. There they are. There's the panzers. Okay, I think that is basically just improving. Hello. What are you? Are you my... You're my KV-1s! Yes. Yes! Join them. Uh, we need to improve the infrastructure of that, so... Uh, I don't, mm. go, if we go down to the bottom, shift, click, you, shift, click, you, there we go, that should be done, there we go, let's continue on, we have, Ooh. Oh, is that another one? Yes, give me. Give me my heavy tanks. Nice. 
unknown focus. Don't really need to know, will I do? Uh, okay, so everyone is, seems to be... I mean, the Germans are occupied here at the moment. I highly doubt they're going to invade while they're fighting in Greece. But then again, they might do. Uh, you know what? Give me more passive defense, please. Who's justifying? Ah! <laughs> Here we go! Here we go. Uh, where is our weakest point right now? Probably. S I'm going to move you to here. With the view to basically see where the hole is and try and plug it with you guys. So, if I move you to here, there we go. But anyway, the German Reich are justifying a war goal against us. It's about to begin. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next ones. Until then, toodles!